Teams new test security tracker to check completion status for the fall 2019 test security com courses in Canvas. In order to get to the tracker, you want to go to ClassLink, which is my.aps.edu. Once you get to ClassLink, you log in with your APS credentials. When ClassLink loads, you're going to look for an icon that's um, the Sapper icon logo that says APS Internal Visualization. Mine is in the upper left-hand corner. Once I open that, you're going to have to make sure that you log in with your APS Google account. Once you're logged in, it will take you to the Sapper page, the AP APS Internal Visualizations page. From this page, there are several links and lots of information. To get to the Test Security Tracker, you scroll down and it's on the left. Test Security Training Tracker. When it opens, it will automatically open to the district view with all of the zones and their completion rate for the entire district and zones. So currently 34% have passed and you can see each zone. If you are interested in your school, you can go to select school name and either check your school or type in. We're gonna look at Onyate. Onyate Elementary, I typed in Onyate, I see it there and then I click only next to it and it'll give me Onyate. And then if I hover over the graph, it tells me Onyate has 89.66% of their staff and teachers at their school, their employees, that have passed the test security course in Canvas. Now, if you want to know specific detail of who has passed and who hasn't, then you go to school detail. Once you go to school detail, you will have to choose your school again. It automatically defaults to A. Montoya but you type in the school, go over here and check it, or click the word only, and then only um, Onyate is showing up. So these are all the people who have taken the test security quiz and passed it, or there's a few that say incomplete. If it says incomplete, either they have not done it yet, or they have done it and not passed it yet, and we'll have to do another attempt. Now, if you just wanna see those who have not completed it, you go to test outcome, outcome and click incomplete, select only, and you'll get the list of those who need to complete it at your school. If there is someone with an E number instead of their name, they need to go in and update their profile and settings in Canvas. And over here on the right, underneath the video, there's information on how to do that and a link to another video that shows how to do that. If you have a big school and you want to export this information into a Google Sheet or an Excel document, you can right click anywhere in the visualization and then you'll get a window up that says download a CSV or an Excel or ex export to Sheets. I like using Google Sheets so it'll automatically make a Google Sheet for you in your Google Drive. So it takes a few seconds for it to send the data to your Google Drive and then it will open it up for you. And then from there, you can go to the columns and resize them by just going to the middle and then double clicking on them. So go between the columns, double click, and it will get the column the correct width. So in a nutshell, that's how to use the test security training tracker to figure out who has completed the test and who has not. If the tracker um, if you have any questions on how to use the tracker, you can contact Sapper at asksapper at aps.udu. If you have questions or concerns about the people who are in the tracker, like if you have employees that are no longer at your school that are showing up there, or if you have people that aren't showing up that should, please email assessment at aps.edu with the employee's name and which course they should be in if they're missing one. Thank you very much.